it up the top right there, so that's minus 4.6 left with club path and minus 6.3 with the club face, which is obviously leading to that. Yeah, if I just, massive tug. Let me just stick face to path on here instead. Yeah, so it's four degrees left path, face an extra degree closed, yeah. so it's left going left, yeah. Probably a little bit on the steeper side as well. What club was that? That was a seven iron. I mean, only only a degree steeper, but which yeah. is better than it used to be. It used to be about minus nine on my seven iron. Been working on channeling it out a lot. Yeah. So yeah, this is uh, a measurement of what's going on in your feet and the ground pressure. So at setup, you have fifty-eight percent on your right foot. Okay. Forty-two on your left. Doesn't oh. doesn't indicate too much setup really. We'll no. see how it, how it goes at the rest. So through the backswing. You have 62% on your right foot, 38 on your left, which I think is a pretty solid distribution for irons. Yeah. Might see driver go a little bit higher, but so far that's, that's not a problem. The move left is pretty quick. I mean, your transition it's from really here quick, yeah. to there, you've gone into your left side, which is a good thing. Um, we just monitor how it happens. What, have you been working on your left foot on um, purpose? No, not at all. I mean, that's... You're, you're putting a ton of pressure into your left heel, which I really like. Um, it's just with your left toe coming up quite heavily there. I think that um, might be sort of subconscious. I'm trying to get yeah. that move exit left. Yeah. So I'm putting that, putting that weight onto my left foot to stop me from staying back and flipping it, because my old move was yeah. stay back and sort of like come forward and yeah. hump it with the hips and flip. So I'm trying to eradicate that. Here's something interesting here. So you've gone left 70. Now, as you get closer to impact, and actually before impact, your weight, even though I said there's got a ton of pressure in the left heel, you've actually got more pressure in your right foot. That's really so you, good. You've gone 70 right, you've gone pretty much 70 left in the yeah. transition, and now you're back to 64 right at impact. So your weight has moved forward and back in the swing, so it's not that fit, it's not the most efficient Do you in the lower body. I'm wondering if my, my hips sometimes like pause on the down swing. Yeah. With, could that have something to do with it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know that a deceleration in the hips and the downswing creates power as well. So yeah. there is, There's I'm not saying effect. this is all bad, yeah, but what, yeah, because you decelerate your hips, this stops the rest of the speed can, can go quite high. So we want to harness that and use it. Um, we well, just have to see how it relates to the rest of your, your sort of angles, really. So. Rory has that move where his hips kind of like stop and yeah. then like refire again. I'm trying to think of any other golfers who do it, but I've. Yeah. I look back at swings from when I was like 12 and it's always been the same kind of move, like yeah. impact stops and then like goes again. Yeah. Well, Ledbetter did a video recently actually, he was talking about a um, laptop on the top of a car. Yeah. Um, his friend drove off with the laptop on the top and as he drove off slowly, it didn't come off. But then he was screaming and shouting and said the laptop's on the car and when he slung the brakes on, the laptop forward. went flying. So you have that deceleration gives actually more energy to the to the end product so there is something in it that's quite useful but um yeah i mean i just we just have to look at how it would relate to everything else and, and where that i mean that that might uh, explain the path because if you've gone here and you're on your way down and then you've got a lot of pressure here the path can move left because of that as well so if you have a slightly more even distribution from right to left yeah not without a deceleration. I think that might influence the path and not allow the club in the center of the, the mass to go, to go left. Yeah. That tends to be the general sort of consensus, consensus of things. When I was having coaching with a guy called Stuart Little, who's yep. at Mitch and Hampton in the UK, he's a really good coach, yep. just get me to actually turn my hips through and not stop. Yeah. Uh, the miss is left. You know, I, I, I never, never miss it left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The worst shot was it started straight and faded off. Yeah. The rest of the shots were pretty neutral, but. Yeah. That's really interesting. Yeah, it's, it's another dimension of the golf swing, isn't it, that we don't normally see? I've never seen my feet pattern before. Yeah. What's it called? Force plates? Uh, yeah, there's two types of force plates. This is the Sam Balance Lab. Yeah. Body Track is the other, uh, the other one on the market. Both pretty, pretty good pretty tools. Good. Um, yeah, I would certainly look at that. I think if you had it 60 here and you were able to actually store it more on the right during that downswing a yeah. little bit, and then move with impact, that's where you would get the weight shift in, in an even manner. Because you're going from right, hard left, hard right again. That's where these changes in direction come from. So, in yeah, course. I mean, you can, you can sort of work through it. I would love to do that. Get on your right, 60 or 70 on your right, feel like you're staying there, just as you're ready to start transition, move with it, see how it affects your path. 
That's interesting stuff. Yeah. So we've been able to see that. So, you know the thing I spoke to you about getting into the heel? Like, I wouldn't wish my students to do that and actually walk out of practice at the same Yeah, what you do is something that I encourage most people to do, and most people can't. You're doing it too much, even, you know, with the weight moving there. But yeah, so with that, I would look at them and go, stop at impact. I want to see red on your left heel. So that sort of live training is quite useful. And for you, it just wants to be yeah, you're on your right and just stay on the left side. We don't want any check backwards. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you can use it live and then you can use it with the record. And the old habits are there, I'm very, very steep, and I can tell as soon as I hit drive on the range, which is a massive rising slice, so I knew immediately I was steep and across the line, I could tell. I'm just trying to feel like that same drip, what Ben Isaac was getting me to do with Lenny Cups out, just make sure I'm exiting left, but my hub path is not getting too far left. At the moment, my drop path is in between one and two degrees left, uh, and my face is it's within four degrees left as well, so just trying to manage that. It's just not playing. It's just not the golf course for so long. If, when I was back with Rich, everything was within a degree, so it just shows that that time off is all the more inconsistencies. So I'm just trying to get baby fades. You're aiming at the tower? Yeah, to the, um, the far right tower? Yeah. Probably aiming in duration for that. Turn, yeah. take your time, and then go. I was um, 
doing the pause drill for about sort of like two months or so. Yeah. Before I before I stopped because it was getting just obscenely yeah quick. It's like almost stuck down swing the pool. Yeah. yeah. I just feel like you've got an extra second at the top. Nice full turn as well. Despite the shot, that actually looks much more pleasing to the eye. Yeah. I think if you get that, and it should help you with that transition. Yeah. Same again, full turn, take the time. That was nice. It's gonna, yeah, it was good. It's going to move uh, pretty hard off this wind, isn't it? But, Strike rhythm was nice, but yeah, in the, in the studio as well. Couldn't quite see as much of your back in the rotation, you know, at the back. Um, now that's just going a little bit further, which okay. is great. So, if you are swinging up and I can't see your back because you're not completing the turn and it's coming a bit fast, all tied in together. Yeah, so if your swing back swing is fast, your transition is fast, chances are you wouldn't have turned as much. So, making a bigger turn allows me to then feeling that little delay and then uh, the whole sequence of the downstream. So feeling the delay is allowing me to turn more, right? Yeah, the, they go hand in hand. Yeah. Because you won't be able to delay yourself if you haven't completed your backswing. Okay. Um, so they, they kind of link together. Take your time, full backswing, little delay. That was awesome. It's so weird actually being able to turn through without feeling like pain in my ankle, hip, anything. There's always been that like strain there. Yeah. But I've, not, I've never tried like flaring my foot out that, that much. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, mate, thank you very much for that, appreciate it. Yeah. No worries, let us know if you need to come down again. Yeah, I'll give you a text, we'll come down tonight or let you know over the Wednesday. Yeah. Thanks for that, I appreciate it, thank you.